Good afternoon. My name is Roy Kuhn. I am a lawyer and have been working with McCarthy in the Army hearings. Many people are saying that Joseph McCarthy is abusing his power. I disagree with this. I think that the communists are trying to force, this, uh, force the idea that Joseph is a tyrant. In truth, he is a senator and has a duty to protect the good people of America from evil communists. I have only met few people that have such passion for their country. Joseph McCarthy is one of those people. Joseph is an honorable man who cares a great deal about this country. He will not stand how these poisonous communists in this great country, and I, Roy Kuhn, and many of the patriots will not stand for it either. I believe that even right now as we speak, communist simpletons are trying to infiltrate us to find our most protected secrets. They have already learned the science of atomic bombs thanks to the help of unpatriotic American traders. With this knowledge, they can bring catastrophic destruction not to us, but to the whole world. But our founding fathers fought for this country and fought for the future generations so that everyone in America could have a freedom to choose what they want to be. I believe there are spies in this army that look like abnormal Americans, so we need to be very serious in our investigations to find these freedom haters. The communists will use anything against our generals that they can find. They will use blackmail to make people do their bidding. They will. There are four things that they will use against them. They will use drug addictions, debt, homosexuality, and cheating to blackmail. I believe we are compromised in the army, and it is my job to that we find who are unwilling to who are unwillingly doing what the communists want. Dear Americans, I ask upon you that you will remain diligent in these trying times and ask you to not lose hope. I say that as long as we fight for freedom and against communism, we will rid this country of the invaders trying to ruin us. With men like Joseph McCarthy, we will be able to find these spies and win the right to continue the practice of freedom. Good evening. My name is Ralph Zwicker, and I'm a general in the United States Army. I have served this country faithfully for many years and in various capacities. I'm here today because Senator McCarthy has accused Major Ivan Pires, whom I honorably discharged of being a member of the Communist Party. When Major Pires was reassigned to Camp Kilmer in New Jersey because of his wife and daughter's illness, he signed an oath saying that he was not a member of an organiza organization that sought to overthrow the U.S. government by unconstitutional means. I know Major Pires to be a man of honor who would not lie under oath. He is a man who has served his country for many years and has no intention of overthrowing the government through any means. When asked to complete a questionnaire about his supposed affiliation with the Communist Party, and when he appeared before this committee, he, Major Pires invoked the Fifth Amendment many times. You took that to mean that he was guilty. The fact that someone chooses to use their constitutional rights does not mean that they are guilty. Anyone, even a senator, who equated the invoking of the Fifth Amendment with guilt was himself guilty by subversion. Since the questionnaire is issued to Major Pires, he has been under surveillance by the chief dental surgeon and his assistant at the request of Camp Kilmar's intelligence officer. The chief dental surgeon has testified that Major Pires does not have access to any sensitive information and has done nothing to be suspicious of. He has done nothing wrong, and while he may have communist leanings in his personal beliefs, it is not the job of this committee to regulate that. Major Pires has no affiliation with the Communist Party, and as I stated earlier, has sworn an oath that he will not associate with a group um, seeking to overthrow the government by unconstitutional means. The only thing he is guilty of is having a different ideas and opinions. Is this a committee with such little integrity as to punish him for that? In Article 11, Section 1 of the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights, it is written that someone is innocent until proven guilty. And through the process of these hearings, it seems that people like Major Perez are guilty until proven innocent. This should not be so. The responsibility of this committee is to find truth. And while I applaud your efforts to do so, you have crossed the line.